Hi there. Hey, in case you missed my lecture on call and response songs, I just wanted to walk you through some of those in this video. So a call and response song is there's a song that one person knows all the words and everybody else only knows a few words that are repeated at regular intervals. We've already done a couple of these in class and one of them was big fat biscuit chew baloo just from the oven chew baloo jump over yonder chew baloo in that case the leader or me sang big fat biscuit and all y'all sang chew baloo and then i sang just from the oven and then it was your turn to sing chew baloo and so on another call and response song that we've done in class um, was the old black fly. That was the one where I sang to the tune of Joshua at the Battle of Jericho, walls come tumbling down. And it sounded like this. The old black fly's been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. The old black fly's been buzzing around, shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. So you can see in that case, I was using the puppet to help you tell when it was the response. So here's another one. See if you can sing shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo in just the right spot. This is the first er, the first verse of the book proper. He ate on the crust of the apple pie, apple pie, apple pie. He bothered the baby and made her cry. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. How'd you do? Did you put the response in the right place? I sure hope so. I have another one for you today, and this one is called Skin and Bones. And I'm going to use this ghost puppet to help you know which part is the response and which part is the call. So whenever I'm singing, that's the call, and whenever the ghost is singing, that's the response. It goes like this. There was an old woman all skin and bones. Ooh, she lived down by the old graveyard. Ooh, one night she thought she'd take a walk. Ooh, she walked down by the old graveyard. Ooh, she saw some bones just lying around. Ooh, she went to a cupboard to get a broom. Ooh, she needed the broom to clean up the bones. Ooh, she opened the cupboard and boom! Did I get you? I sure hope so. Hey, here's another call and response song, and this one is called John the Rabbit. This is my rabbit puppet. His name is John William, and he's going to help you to know when you're supposed to sing, Yes, ma'am. Oh, John the Rabbit. Yes, ma'am. Had a mighty fine habit. Yes, ma'am. All the jumping in my garden. Yes, ma'am. And I eating all my cabbage. Yes, ma'am. He ate potatoes. Yes, ma'am. And sweet potatoes. Yes, ma'am. And if I live, yes, ma'am. To see next fall, yes, ma'am. I won't plant, yes, ma'am. A garden at all, yes, ma'am. <coughs> My son and I have one more for you, and this one's called All Around the Kitchen. It actually has some actions that go with it, too. So, and you can change the actions however you want, but we're going to be using a chicken puppet to help us with this one. So it goes All Around the Kitchen. Cock a doodle doodle do all around the kitchen. Cock a doodle doodle do well, stop right still. Cock a doodle doodle do put your hands on your hips. Cock a doodle doodle do let your right foot slip. Cock a doodle doodle do all around the kitchen. Cock a doodle doodle do all around the kitchen. Cock a doodle doodle do. So you can see that one has the cock a doodle do part that's the part for the kids. And then you sing the rest. And you can make up your own verses like put your hands in the air. Cock a doodle doodle do. Wave them like you don't care. Cock a doodle doodle do. Now stop right there. Cock a doodle doodle do. And sit in your chair cock a doodle doodle do whatever you want you can just make up new verses every time and the important part is is that the kids can listen follow your directions for whatever you're telling them to do and then of course they always have that response of cock a doodle doodle do if you want to put these into a pedagogical purpose um, apart from the fact that they're a way to get kids involved in singing and making sure that they're paying attention to directions that they're knowing um, 
what the regular interval is that they're supposed to interject the response and also holding that um, contrasting response material in their mind while you are suggesting another musical idea to them. That is really a pretty advanced skill. But you can also use these in your classroom, for example, when um, in my my second one of my second grader teachers last year would have her kids every time she would say class class they would say yes yes and I had a kindergarten teacher who every time he would sing where there's walking the kids would all answer with there's no talking so they both are utilized a call and response format to help with logistics of their classroom um, and for also to get attention with the children whenever they were um, needing to be redirected. So I hope you found this video to be useful in, and I hope you have some success in finding and utilizing some call and response songs in your classroom. Bye!